Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia. Today we're going to be talking about the audio I.O. setup or the audio input and output setup in Studio One. As you can see, I have a Studio One song already open and in order to go to the I.O. setup, we need to open the Preferences window by clicking on Studio One Preferences. If we go to our audio setup menu, which we already explained, there is a button down here called Song Setup. If we click there, we're going to have three sub menus and there's one called Audio I.O. Setup. Here's what we're going to be working on today. I.O. stands for Input Output Setup. So what is the I.O. Setup? The I.O. Setup uh, is a basic configuration that you're going to find on any digital audio workstation. And it normally works as a matrix, okay? A matrix that shows your inputs or your outputs. And as you can see, there's tabs for inputs and outputs. It's going to show a matrix with your analog inputs matched to your software inputs. So how does this work? Let's start with the inputs. If I click on the inputs tab of the, of the audio setup, I can first, first of all see my interface. It's an aggregate device that I created. In your case, it's going to be whatever interface you have. And you're going to see on the horizontal axis the actual inputs of your hardware inputs, okay? We can see we got input 1 and 2, then mic line 1 and 2, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 ADATs, and then some other inputs there. So we have, I have a total of 18 inputs here that I could match to the software. Right now, you can see that only the first two hardware inputs are matched to the software and they're matched uh, in three different ways. And I'll, I'll explain you how. Inputs 1 and 2 are matched as a stereo actual software input called input left plus right. You can see it's a stereo. Then we have input left as a mono as a mono input and then input right as a mono input 2. The reason we do uh, stereo pair and then two mono inputs is because let's say you're going to record a piano in stereo uh, form you might just create a stereo track and assign input left plus right or one plus two whatever you want to call it as the input so that's the, imp the input to a stereo track has to be obviously two hardware inputs now if you're going to record let's say a bass or a vocal you only need one input so we also give you the option of doing the input left as a mono or the input right as a mono. Um, these names are not really very um, easy to understand so I'm gonna rename it just by double clicking it and then I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna call this input 1 2 a stereo and then this one I'm just gonna call it input 1 and then this one input 2. Now it's easier to see. Now check this out I still have all inputs from 3 all the way to 18 are still available, so I could keep creating inputs. Let's create up another pair, another stereo pair. I'm going to click on Add Stereo, and there we have it. Uh, it's a stereo pair associated to mic line inputs 1 and 2, which are actually hardware <laughs> inputs 3 and 4. Um, and I'm going to label this as, I'm going to click it, input 3, 4. I call it input 3 4 because as you can see, it's a stereo pair associated to three and four. And then I'm going to create the mono inputs from those two by clicking at mono twice. And this is very important. As soon as I clicked it, I created a mono input associated to five. I want it to be associated to three, so I'm just going to click three here. It's going to drag it. The same thing for the other one. I'm just going to click here and drag it. So you can see input three and four our stereo pair associated to three and four hardware inputs. Input three is a mono input only associated to three and four only associated to four. I can keep doing this until I fill every single hardware input, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I want you to see this. Now, um, the recommendation that I give you is that you always create your stereo pair and then your two monos and then your other stereo pair and your two monos, but you could only do monos if you want it. It's up to you. Um, you're going to see on other um, programs that 
uh, people or other tutorials, they don't they only create the monos. And if you do that, uh, it'll look kind of like this. I'm gonna click click on the stair and remove it. Yes, and then click on this one and remove it. Yes, and you can see it looks like um, it's like a diagonal line. Okay, it's another way a good way to see it. Um, that's with the inputs. Now we can go to the outputs. Okay, the outputs tab. You can see one more time I have 12 hardware outputs and I only have a single pair um, that I have assigned which are one and two and they're labeled as the main pair in Studio One. I also have created a sub which is another um, output that I have not assigned to anything. I'm going to go ahead and assign that to three and four. Okay. So what you have right now, you have two output pairs and they're only as pairs. Now, what if I wanted to output something as mono, okay? Let's say something I wanna take out of my interface and send it to a, a compressor, an outboard gear compressor, you would need a, a mono output for that. So you could create a mono, let's say, let's create a couple mono outputs and let's label them as this one is actually assigned to five and this one to six so i'm going to call this out five oops sorry out five and then i'm going to call this out six uh this one could leave us main and i'm going to call this one out three four so uh and actually main i'm going to rename that to out one two so it's easier to understand so on the outputs, we have a, a stereo output on your software, which is called Out2, which is assigned to your hardware outputs 1 and 2. Then we have another output, which is also stereo, called Out34, which is assigned to your hardware outputs 3 and 4 as a stereo pair. And then you have 5 and 6 assigned as mono outputs. I still have more outputs down here that I could assign, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to do those. Okay? You could fill this as much as you want. You could create, just as the input tabs, you could create stereo pairs and then mono outs. Uh, and that way you're gonna be able to use every single output and every single input out of your interface, however you want. This is the audio IL setup configuration in Studio One. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, please call us at Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.